Hello everyone, I'm doing this video to show you how I disassembled my Olympus OMD EM5. That's a long name. Um, the reason was that water got into the camera via this piece of junk that you will easily lose via the accessory port into the viewfinder housing, leaving traces and smears on my viewfinder from the inside. And uh, the water also got uh, below this command dial so that the camera would switch from one mode to the other without me turning the ring or anything. So I'm actually doing this video after I disassembled and repaired the, the camera, but I will show you some pictures. Um, I'm doing this mainly because uh, I found no instructions whatsoever or and no service manual on the internet showing you how to disassemble the EM5, uh, which is very unlucky because many people own this camera and I mean at some point you will be forced to um, open it and uh, fix your problems because well that might happen to some people. So the first thing you'll want to do is to of course is to remove the battery as well as uh, your SD card and the lens and then you will be good to go so to open the camera you will need a Phillips screwdriver as well as maybe some plastic thing um, to pry open some parts without damaging the camera body and uh, pen and paper as well as a knife the knife and the glue are missing on the picture and as I said it's very important to have a pen and paper as well as tape to label each screw so that you know where it comes from and that you are actually able to reassemble the camera. In the end it's going to be quite a lot. So to start off you will want to remove all the screws that appear on the outside of the body except those that are on the LCD screen because you can just leave it as it is. The screws are located here, there, two around the tripod socket, around the battery compartment, below the battery compartment. My most precious piece of advice is to not remove this thumb grip. Um, that's what I did before I realized that the missing screws were behind those front grips. Um, because this thumb grip is actually uh, fixed in place by two screws from the inside, which you can see in the picture. That's the back of the camera with uh, some flexes disconnected. The big one is from the LCD and the small one comes from the buttons of the back of the camera. And if you try to pry that open, well, you will just break something. Uh, in my case, I could just, uh, I only broke one screw. Um, then I could just um, glue it back onto the camera body, which was fine. And you can also um, glue back those parts quite easily onto the camera body because they, they're not glued directly to the camera body. They are glued to adhesive tape. And um, if that tape gets uh, dry, and uh, loses its stickiness while you're repairing the camera. You can just put some drops of glue and it just works fine. It just feels like before. Um, one of the advantages of the EM5 is that it doesn't have a flash, so you're quite safe operating um, inside the camera and uh, touching the circuit board because you will not be electrocuted or do not have a big risk of damaging the camera either. But nevertheless, don't forget to um, touch the ground. It might be um, a metal table or maybe a heater or whatever that will cause you to lose your static uh, electricity. Once you have removed all the screws from the bottom plate of the camera, you can remove this bottom plate and you will find some strips of black tape, uh, maybe at various points. Um, 
Be very careful with this tape. You will have to remove it to discover other screws that are beneath. Here are two screws you need to remove as well. But um, this tape, which is also located right behind here, the tape is in red. Um, it's actually called weather sealing. So you might have to be very careful at uh, where you place it and don't forget to put it back. You will see the tripod socket um, with two further screws securing it to the camera. After you removed these, you are actually able to just simply pull out the tripod socket. Uh, you have to do that. You also have two screws just behind the eye cup that you have to remove like this, located here and there. Then you will have screws inside the HDMI um, plug bay above here. And um, the one that really that was really tricky for me was where the screws are located behind the grip. So if you want to open up your camera, you will have to remove this part and that part as well. Before I realized where the screws are, I even removed the, the lens mount, which is a bad idea, since you don't need to remove it. Um, and uh, by the way, when you remove the lens mount, you will find a rubber ring, which acts as a weather sealing. You will find a long screw on this side. You will have to push aside some sticky transparent tape to access the screw. There are two other screws behind the, the grip, um, one here and one there, as well as one below, which will allow you to remove this plastic, no, it's not plastic, it's metal, this metal thing around the lens mount, um, which is necessary to uncover four big screws that are around the lens mount behind this metal thing. which will allow you to separate the front from the back and also to lift the cover plate, the top plate from the rest of the camera. So this is the main board. It looks quite complicated and it's cramped really. There are, the problem is there are lots of cables that are soldered to the, the main board so you have to be careful. Lots of flexes that you have to remove and not to forget to uh, connect again when you reassemble the camera. Here the front plate is already removed. Um, I will show it to you in the next uh, view here. You see that the front plate is uh, linked to the main board with three um, little cables, blue, white, red, like the French flag. Um, so you have to be careful, you can't really uh, separate those two, you have to keep them close to each other. You can see that a bit better in this picture. And I forgot to mention that two screws that are quite hidden, recessed uh, on the left and the right side, need to be removed if you want to loosen. And this is the bottom of the camera. I had a problem with the water, so I found white deposits inside the viewfinder housing. By the way, I don't know, whenever water gets into a camera, I always have white deposits, even if the water is quite clean. The pictures are quite crappy, sorry about that, but the Olympus is the only good camera I have, so I had to use a webcam. Um, once I removed the PCB that was under the command dial, I could see that even there, dirt, um, this white dirt got into it. And after I cleaned everything with um, acetic acid diluted with water and everything was dry, I could reassemble the camera and uh, happily see that everything was working fine. The viewfinder LCD toggle automatic toggle worked again and my command dial was not switching madly from one mode to another anymore. So um, if you have any problem with your camera good luck disassembling it and thanks for watching.